Conventions on the right of the child is a mechanism put in place by the United Nations to assist countries make better informed decisions regarding children. According to United Nations representative Dr. Izzy Ndombi, the CRC report for Niwe is very important as it recognizes areas of development among other things. There are accountabilities that we must have for children because they don't have sufficient voice on their own and therefore the convention tries to enshrine every right that the child has. Uh, you can talk about the right to life, right to education, right to play, right to be protected uh, from abuse, neglect and exploitation. All these rights are enshrined in the convention. But in order for countries to be accountable, sufficiently accountable, it had to be stipulated very carefully and countries are supposed then to report against the convention on how they are implementing to ensure that the rights of their children are met. The primary duty pair in terms of the convention is the government because it's the one which signs and ratifies the convention. But below the government, there are many other duty bearers. So you can look at teachers, they are duty bearers. The doctors are duty bearers. The church organizations are duty bearers. And coming right down to the parents of the child, they are also duty bearers. They have obligations for their children. And what the government needs to do is to ensure that everybody knows what their duties are so that they can be able to help the child to realize their rights in the context of those duties. And, and that, that's something that we always encourage governments to do so that there should be a com good communication system to enable the church, to enable teachers, to enable doctors, to enable all the stakeholders who are duty bearers to know what duties they need to meet. Uh, but at the same time, sometimes there is the duty, but you need the capacity to be able to implement that duty. And therefore, we, there is also a process of capacity building for the duty bearers so that they can be able to efficiently support their various obligations. Dr. AZ said Niwe's situation is unique but not dissimilar to other countries and implementations of different assisting mechanisms and resources. We believe that it's a dynamic situation and I think most parents are increasingly knowing uh, that even though very traditionally it was that the children should be seen and not heard, that the more you engage the child in what relates to them, the more that child will behave positively. And they will be less rebellious, they will be more accountable to the extent of their age and development. If you are keeping them briefed and participating in the decision processes. So I think as we learn and as we share uh, the lessons that we have learned in other countries and in other communities, the parents in New will, 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 will be able to do more and more of involvement of children. And I believe even there are ch parents in New who are doing, engaging with their own children. And those are practices that should be shared across the country so that they, it can help to increase this uh, ownership. Uh, by children as well of what, 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 what affects them. Now one of the concerns is that there's, there has not been any public consultations uh, in regards to the report. So parents are not aware, they haven't contributed to the report. How effective do you, how effective do you think the report is? Well I think the report captures the realities uh, in New uh, to a large extent. Uh, no report can be complete. And I think what will be important for uh, New Orleans is that this is a process that is live. Engage. The report is going to be widely available in, on the website in New Orleans and on the UNICEF website. And if you ask for the Honorable Jacobson's office, I'm sure they'll be able to avail the report. And what is important is that the New Orleans should now engage in advancing the discussion on the convention because there will be future reports 
and therefore they should engage in a process so that future reports are more informed by the opinions and the realities on the ground. So I think there is, look at it as a time, a point in time, but with future opportunities for the communities to engage. He also said it is important for those who draft reports to be sensitive and knowledgeable of cultural and traditional values that will strengthen the report. This morning, Cabinet Ministers endorsed the report and will be launched tomorrow at Niue High School Multipurpose Hall. Everyone's invited to this important event. We will bring you more also on this story in our future news bulletin.